Return to Form is a project exploring different styles of poetry. We pair up two poets, challenging them to use the same form and the same inspirational material to show how totally different pieces can be created from the same starting point. Golden Shovel, poem using words from a source poem for its line endings. My apology is in my feet, clattering as we are walking, lapping against the pavement, unheard by those whom I pass by. It isn't stopping, and I'm not sure what the best thing is I can do. I head to the waters, an early source high from the hill, trail slowly down till salt meets spring, then further out, where my apology slaps the side of a boat in an ocean greater than all my cells. I hear again the honest shout of gulls, mark my course from an overhead river of geese, and wait while the tide shakes the sun loose from its day and turns my hands into white-backed fish. All of this with my apology still stirring, the queasy uncertainty set upon the sea. Ahead, on a small spit of land, there crouches a tree shaped as a woman. Shore bent, squat and thrown, saplings long passed down. I pause beneath her branches, reach my arms gently round the pocketed bark and ask that my excuses leave me. I know her. We have met before. The shifts within my body, taste of cardamom and old apples, a chimney whisper of rain. There is air inside me that I'm slow to recognize. I'm granted a hearth, and under its watchful light, near the close-grown leaves, a circle of starlings graces the sky as I start to sound a clumsy, wordless penance. And if I stayed here, I would be done. If there were no pull to the Monday world, a pavement to stand on, a chance to dismantle dream or superstition, I wouldn't have to take the apology back into my bones or take leave of the tree. I could stay with the birds and the flames and the sky. I wouldn't have to sit with the worst of myself, know all the cities of my spine, sieve the dregs of decency and speak. I listen for permission to stay, but the tree is having none of it and closes herself up for the day. Readying myself to return, I thank her. My apology and I, as ever, present in both past and future, pavement and imagination. Thinking is a kind of walking, staying in step with passers-by or coursing against the concurring current of calm waters. And it's a long way down from this lonely height where this rickety footing is just an expensive way of being honest. Loud is the mouth of this river as it snakes and shakes itself into cupped hands, chapped hands choking with untaken footsteps and the tiring tirades of a tidal sea. And who should swell here but a whirlpool wonder woman whose legend is past, has been passed round to me, by me, through me. A trusty tale to believe in that think walking is not just a raging river running slow, but bangled wrist, ever watchful, timeful like the fireside circle, where inner strength is forged as story of memory and the what if that decides the strides of you and I. 
now and ever, then as it were. That taboo of us is just a shocking, walking superstition. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, we'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button, if you could hit the subscribe button, and make sure to ring that bell icon so you don't miss any updates from us in the future. If you want to go that extra mile and support us a little further, we do have a Patreon channel with loads of exclusive goodies, and you can sign up for as little as a dollar a month. We appreciate your help, guys, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.